Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Rakakwadash, double honesty, apostles and elders of Great Millstone that roll well, and a sincere salutation to all you came out there pushing this truth, it's sincerity. And uh, basically today, what we would like to go into is, uh, everyone that lives godly shall suffer persecution, okay? And um, as of late, you know, they, uh, the guy did uh, plowed into the, the Christmas parade in, um, in um, Wa Waukesha, I believe that's how you say it, Wisconsin. Um, they're trying to link him to the Israelites, you know? So, you know, listen, if we could get uh, not ignorant of Satan's devices, because the thing of the, the, thing of the matter is, is that, you know, any, anyone who is sincerely serving, okay, the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, it's not gonna do, you know, what that man did, okay? No no man is gonna get into an SUV, okay, and, and plow into a bunch of people at a Christmas parade, okay? You know, whether Christmas be false or whatever the case, that's that's just not, you know, that's 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 not our MO. You know, the scriptures say uh, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, okay? You know, but uh, to the mighty of putting down the strongholds, that's, that's what we do, you know, we, Ultimately, you know, we prevail in, in the in the in the word, you know, that that's how we fight our battles, man Okay, we fight our battles through 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 the doctrine. Okay through bringing out this truth Okay, that's how we break down strongholds that have captivated the minds of our people for so long Okay, it's, it's basically telling the truth and, and and those that can receive it ultimately they're, they're gonna come into the fold and those that they, 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 they cannot well Hey, that's that's for you how about to decide their fate Okay, but uh you know, all those that, that, that shall live godly will suffer persecution. Go ahead, brother. Second Corinthians 11, <clears throat> lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Right, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, okay? And, and Satan's uh, physical counterpart here on the earth is, is uh, Esau, okay? We know that, that, that you know, they, they do things, uh, uh, you know, on the left-hand side to push agendas. You know, they, they do things to ultimately uh, you know, because they're at war with the saints, okay? That, that's what you so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans uh, uh, need to understand, okay? If you're coming into this truth, if you're hearing this word, you have a mortal enemy. You have a, na you, okay, and, and, and the nation of, of, of Esau, Edom, okay, are at, are at, in, are at odds, okay? Hey, scripture say he has put an enmity between the seed of the righteous and the seed of the wicked, man. You know, so there's a, you know, like the scripture say, a perpetual hatred between the two nations. Yeah, perpetual hatred, man. You know, and uh, and, and 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 it's been playing out, you know, to this day. Okay, you got this, uh, and it's interesting, you know, when uh, you look at what's uh, what else is going on in the news. This guy, um, Kyle Rottenhouse, you know, he was just uh, uh, given a not guilty verdict for the for um, the 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 two killings and and the wounding another man in uh, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Okay, and 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 now. This is happening in, in Wisconsin, so you know, for sure, for sure, through the spirit, man, has to be some left-hand enchantments on the people. Okay, they, they want to divert the attention to white privilege and white supremacy that is obviously rampant in this country, and and, and put Jake as the face of terrorism again. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, brother. This is Proverbs 10 and 31. The mouth of the judge bringeth forth wisdom, but the forward tongue shall be cut out. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable. But the mouth of the wicked speaketh frowardness, mm -hmm. which that word frowardness goes into mischief, man, wickedness. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's all that's being spoken right now, man. You know, they're taking this, uh, you know, which I, I believe is a false flag, man. This man has been set up, you know, by the programs at the CIA, the FBI. You know, we got a, 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 a you know, an image of it in this movie called uh, Judas and the Black Messiah, man. Yeah. You know, so this is something that he's <coughs> going to do, man. He'll uh, set up these uh, false, uh, you know, like the scriptures say, spies. You know what I'm saying? That 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 claim to be Israelites, but in, in reality they're they're infiltrators for the system, man. You know, trying to make, uh, trying to shed bad light into this truth, man. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And and uh, and you know, also there was there was this uh, um, what is it called? The season premiere of South Park. I don't know if you brother saw that, but they uh they they in the uh, in that cartoon, you know, and, and that and that's a horrible show, man. You know what I mean? I, I could never get into it myself, but in, in, in the season premiere, they showed uh, a red SUV 
Okay, dry, uh, you know, you know, basically, you know, uh, 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 driving into people, man, in the midst of people. So, were they hinting at something? Or is it predictive programming? Hey, you know, hey, it, pro it, it could very, it could very much be that, you know. But uh, let, let's get um, let's go, let's get that Isaiah 59, and then um, we'll get a couple scriptures in Psalms, and then we'll, we'll get to that John, because because so, yeah, that's basically what we want to speak about, man. You know. You brothers out there, you know, uh, you know, you believers, you, you know, the women, the sisters, you know, hey, you know, we're coming to a time where, where uh, you know, ultimately, uh, you know, what's written is going to come to pass, and that's that, you know, there will be persecution, but, you know, through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, you know, we, we will overcome, you know, Lord willing, we be, we be the, you know, the, of that number. But go ahead, brother. This is uh, Isaiah 59 and 15. <clears throat> it says, Yea, truth faileth. And he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. Right, truth faileth, man. And that's the thing, you know. Uh, uh, you know, you know. Going back to this, this Kyle Rittenhouse guy. Here it is, you know. Um, he goes to trial, you know, and, and and this guy can't even smoke or drink legally, but yet he can carry an AR-15 assault rifle and and and, and kill two people and, and injure another. You see, so you know. Where do they justify that? Hey, I don't know. You know, he picks his own jury. He's posing with the judge. The president, he, there's the a president. picture with him with Trump too. You see, so, you know, and we know it's a hey, hey, controlled opposition because here Biden's defaming him, right? Calling him a white supremacist. And then you got Trump bigging him up. Okay, so th there's a lot of confusion, man. Truth faileth, man. Go ahead, brother. It says, <clears throat> reading on, it says, uh, and the Lord saw it. Oh, get, get the, uh, run it back when you talk about the truth. Come. Isaiah 59 and 15 says, Yea, true faileth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. Right, so when you depart from evil, when you come into this knowledge, man, you know, hey, you make yourself a prey, man. You know, because, uh, you know, ultimately you put off the ways of the world. You know, and the ways of the world is, is eye for an eye. You know, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, every man for himself is, is, is you know, but in this, in this truth and this knowledge, man, you know, you, you put on, you put on as the elect, you know, the, the attributes, you know, the righteousness and, and then the many different things, you know, the wisdom that, that you have to uh, uh, display, you know, in, in this knowledge, man. But, you know, when you, you depart, okay, from the world, man, you ultimately, you make yourself a prey. Okay, go ahead. It says, hmm. uh, it says, and the Lord saw it and it displeased him that there was no judgment. Right, and, and it displeased Yahweh Bashim Yashai that there is no judgment. So the, the Heavenly Father's eyes are upon the sinful kingdom because there's no judgment here, and especially amongst our people. You know, there is no judgment. It tells you that Hosea 4 and 6. You know, you're destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You know, people don't want to wake up. You know? Go ahead, brother. Verse 16, it says, And he saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor. Right, because, uh, you know, the intercessor is, is Yahweh Shai. We went into that last week, you know? Go ahead. It says, therefore his arm brought salvation unto him and his righteousness is sustained. Right, and, and, and so, so only through Yahweh Shai will, will come righteousness in, the, in, this, in this kingdom, okay? In this planet, I should say. Only, only through him because the Lord, he, he's ultimately gonna judge, okay? Uh, uh, you know, uh, the whole world, okay? And, and, and that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to come you know, basically take us out of here because we know, okay, that they're coming down with great wrath. All right. Let's get that matter of fact. What was that? Revelation 12? 12, 12, 12, 12 and 12. Yeah, kind of. Uh, this is Revelation <coughs> 12, verse 12, mm -hmm. and it reads, it says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and uh -huh. ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, mm -hmm. for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. Right. That devil is, 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 is speaking about a man. You know, Diablos is the one that takes, uh, the, the, you know, uh, uh, when is it that is a, a physical counterpart on the earth that, 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 is, that is opposing the Most High, okay? So on the earth, man, you know, a, you know, whoa, you know, there's destruction, you know, because uh, ultimately the Lord has set him up, okay, to do all these things. You know, he's not doing this of his own, okay? The Lord has set him up. He is the wicked, okay? Uh, the Lord has uh, created the wicked for the day of evil, so... You know, that's another thing we must remember that, uh, you know, while we see all these enchantments, while we see all these moves that Esau's making, ultimately, you know, the, the Lord is going to uh, uh, destroy him, okay. you know. It says, uh, 
For the devil was come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Right, right. So, you know, with with, with him, uh, uh, let's get, um, um, what is it, Psalms 37? Uh, see, because, uh, you know, they know that they have a short time. They even, when they did their, uh, their uh, what was that, that meeting they did? They were talking about climate control. You know, uh, was it Prince Prince Henry? We also went into that, but he was saying, Prince Philip. yeah, Prince Philip, yes, yeah, like he, he was saying that, uh, you know, we, we got to do a, 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 you know, we're running out of time, and we, we know what these things mean. We know what, what 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 goes on in the media. We know all these, uh, you know, these false flags. Like you know, we know that these things ultimately are, are signs. You know, th this guy getting off, getting a not not a guilty verdict. That's a sign. That's a sign to you, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, that you're gonna ultimately be the face of evil. You're gonna continue to be shot down. You can, you don't have no power, and, and they can get away scot-free. These, these dudes, hey, they're, they're, they're applauding this guy, okay? And then they plastering Jake all over the uh, media, okay? And, and, and linking him to the Israelites, saying that, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, that, 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 that we're a violent group or whatever the case, man, you see? So, you know, hey, we're not we're not ignorant to Satan devices, you know, the Lord ultimately set uh Esau up just like Pharaoh to destroy him in the end. Okay? You guys got any precepts? Yeah, you know, I got precepts too. Psalms thirty seven and uh, uh see, uh verse twelve. Four, uh yeah, yeah, we can get to fourteen. Uh, verse, this is uh, Psalms thirty seven and twelve. The wicked plotteth against the just and gnashes upon him with his teeth. Come. The you got it? You speak on kind, kind. The wicked, so I'll, read, I'll run it back, man. Psalms 37 and 12. The wicked plieth against the just and gnasheth, him, gnasheth upon him with his teeth, man. And this is what Esau's doing through his weaponry, man. You know, because not only is does he have the, the sword, which is the physical sword, which is the modern day gun and, and, those, and, and that type of stuff, but, you know, through the media, man, he's using that as a weapon as, as well. Mm -hmm. You know, turn the public's opinion against these Israelites, man. You know, because I was mentioned, I, I was saying last, last night on the video I did that. You know how uh, you know for a long time you know they when you talk about the israelites hey well you know they're they're just out there you know our people what, what our people think they're just out there teaching the bible you know they don't really do too much you know they're just there minding their own business calling the white man a devil you know saying a few bad words out there in the corners you know but now everything's changing man now they're they're painting you as a terrorist they're painting you as as a man capable you know because they're they, they have a, a you know, uh, what was it called, when they edit videos and shit? Yeah, yeah. So that they make the videos look like if you're saying something that you're not saying, man. Yeah. You know, Esau's a fucking uh, witch, man. That's a warlock, man. Because he, he devised his craft to warp reality, man, in his favor. You know, the uh, elder Makama, he made a video going into how he controls the narrative, man. Yeah. And this is basically an example of Esau controlling the narrative, man. Right, you know? right. If you if you have seen the, and, and, and <clears throat> a lot of brothers seen the video, the reporter, when he was talking about it, they they go into this guy's social media page, man. Yeah, they you know what? <laughs> and they po they they showed that he uh, that he posted that picture, and the brothers are familiar about uh, Hitler uh, uh, yeah. saying that the so-called Negroes <laughs> are the uh, are the, are the true Jews, and he's like, oh, you know what I mean? It's like, can you believe? You know, basically is what he's saying. Like, can you believe that's what they're saying that they're the Jews? Like, oh, poor Mr. Jewish man. You know what I'm saying? How dare these? Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, claim that to be the Israelites, you know? So, like the brother said, man, they, they gnash upon uh, oh, the righteous with their teeth because they just they just spew out all this shit, man. It's like, uh, it's like a, they're like low blows, man. It's all unfair. Like, what the hell? Like, you ever, you ever, you ever converse with an Israelite, man? You know what I'm saying? You know? They, they put the, uh, when they were with the, those kids, you know what I mean? They, when they were in D.C.? The Covington yeah, yeah, you know, so they like the brothers, they splice all these media so yeah of course it looks bad man but but you know have a conversation with brothers man and and, 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 and you know you'd be enlightened unto what this truth is all about but it but your your eyes are you know blind y'all y'all ain't gonna see it though see it. you reading bro verse 13 the lord shall laugh at him for he seeth that his days is coming and that his day is coming the wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of an upright conversations. Mm. Yeah, that's cold, man. You know, because, hey, well, what are we speaking about, man? We're speaking about the coming of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Al Shai, through what the scriptures say, man. Through, not through what our words say, man, but what the scriptures say. All we bring out is precepts, man, on what the Lord's going to do. 
know, so they're not our words, man. They're the words of Yahab Bashim Rashai using, you know, he's only using us as a as a, a microphone, so to speak, to, to outer these words to the to the heavens, man, to the to the ends of the world, you know, so that the end could come, man. You know, and that's basically how the end is gonna manifest itself with, with the persecution of the saints and ultimately with the uh, of us being pulled from YouTube, from you know, the media and, and basically ultimately from the streets, man, you know, when all, all hell breaks loose. And that's how we know that all hell's about to break loose, man, because that persecution is heating up. You know, the Lord's turning up the knob uh, on the oven, man. You know, so it's gonna get harder and harder as we approach these latter days, man. You know, because Esau's getting desperate, bro. Yeah. You know, he don't know how to combat this word. His apologetics, you know, these men that he has sent out to try to uh, uh, deviate this truth have, 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 have brought him no fruits, man. Because the scriptures say in the book of Acts that if this work be of man, it should come to naught. But if it be of the Most High, you know, you're going to find yourself fighting against the Most High, man. Mm -hmm. and, you know, there's a saying there, your arms are too short to box with the Most High. You know? Hey, I got a precept for that. Uh, Luke 21 and 15, it says, For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, Ooh. which all of your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. And that's what's happening. That's what's provoking this devil to anger, you know, because he can't combat us in the spirit, you know, with this truth. And, and his truth is tearing them down, man. It's, 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 it's eating them up to the core because the scriptures tell you that the the, the word is sharper than any two-edged sword, man. Mm -hmm. And it's cutting this devil up. And, and he has no way to combat this besides reverting back to his blessing, which is the sword. You know what I'm saying? And and that's why this devil, <clears throat> ultimately, he want to lay hands on us. But the Heavenly Father got it to where he can't do that right now because as soon as he go to lay his hands on us, that's when the Lord going to lift up that standard, man. Come. You know, and then, then shit gonna get real out here for Esau, man. So he, he gotta he gotta try to find manipulative ways and that's why he revert to his deception, man. Because that's his devil is crafty. He he's he's a, a master of, of deception. And he gotta revert to that deception so that when he does uh, revert to uh putting his hands on the prophets or or trying to, that he's justified in the eyes of the people. You know, that's ultimately what he's trying to do. I, I got a quick precept huh? Uh, real quick, you was gonna say something? No, no, no. I was gonna bring a piece of two for you. Got it. Uh, real quick, this is Matthew's five and uh, mm -hmm. and ten. It says, "Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake." Mm -hmm. All right. It says, "Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven." For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. God. And, and we, we we know about the stories, man. You know, when, when Yahweh Shai was on the scene, man, when he gathered the disciples, when they went out, uh, you know, to push the word of uh, Yahweh Shai, man. They were persecuted. What happened to John the Baptist, man? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, they, they took his head. That's right. So we, we heard the stories, but this is the time, and in the latter end, this is the time where the, where the prophets are going to win. You know what I'm saying? When this devil go to put his hands on us, the Yahweh Shai is going to lift up that standard and ultimately we're going to get the victory on this uh, this, this round. You know, we're not set up to lose. That's that's not how the prophecy goes in the end. There, there's going to be the persecution, but the Heavenly Father got his elect men set up this time to overcome it. And he got those ancient men from the Bible back in the, in the planet Earth, bro. Yeah. That were causing the same ruckus that they did for the other nations in the past times. You know, they're doing the same shit in Esau's kingdom, man. Right? You know, this is a... Uh, Hebrews 11 and 32, and what shall I, what shall I more say? You know, this going into the, 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 the many different forms of persecution that some of our forefathers went to, man, even death. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, death is going to be presented to some of our, some of the hopeful members of the elect, man. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that's, that's going to be the ultimate uh, sacrifice, so to speak, that you're going to have to uh, do, you know, which is, ba which is basically to lay your life for this truth, man. All right? But it says, and, and, what, and what shall I more say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon, and of Barak, and of Samson, and of, uh, of Jephthah, of David, and also and Samuel, and of the prophets, you see, who through faith subdue kingdoms, and that's what we're doing in the spirit, man. We're breaking through the strongholds. You know, we're getting Esau really nervous, man, because we're telling him what, hey, that you're going into captivity, man, that you're going to be a, a perpetual slave in the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, that we're going to put our foot up your ass, basically. basically yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. They ain't liking that shit, bro. Because <laughs> right. they know through through studying the scriptures that, that the Bible's real, man. Uh -huh. And that we are the people of the Heavenly Father, man. That we are Yashorala. Right. You know? And it says, who through faith of the kingdoms wrought righteousness, 
obtain promises, stop the mouth of lions. Mm. You see that spiritual mm. power is coming back, man. You know, quench the violence of fire, escape the edge of the sword. And that's what you have to have in the mindset, man, that through every type of adversity, you know, the Lord's going to deliver us, man. You know, the brother uh, brother in the camp, Tazar, his one of the scriptures he always brings up is, uh, you know, look at the uh, at our forefathers, man. Look yeah. at the generation of old. Right. You see, who, who has ever been confounded when they have put their trust in Yahweh Bashim Mashai? Nobody, man. You know? It says, uh, escape the edge of sword out of weakness were made strong, wax valiant and fight turn to fight the armies of the aliens women receive their dead raised to life again and that's what we're doing right now in the spirit man you know what i'm saying we're coming back to life all right that's which right. you know it's going to manifest pretty soon in the spirit man where you know you're going to see a, a man being risen up again like like it happened where, where yahweh when he you know when he passed away there there was men that, that came out the graves and, and basically lived the full life again man you know so things out of world experiences are going to be experienced right now on the planet earth man you know the times are that, that we're about to begin and enter into all right but it says not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection this is the point right here verse 36 and others had trials of cruel mocking yeah mm -hmm. and that's what this is is right now man a cruel mocking all right because they're mocking us man they're telling us that we, you know first and foremost that we're not the israelites you know they're, they're saying that we we that we're saying that us saying that you know, we can't even call ourselves Hebrew Israelites, bro. Right. Yeah. We gotta be black Hebrew Israelites, you see? And this is this is that that deception, man, that they're trying to deploy right now on the planet Earth. And and it says uh, of cruel mockings and scourgings, yeah. Moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. Mm. They were stoned, they were sun asunder, yes. were tempted, were slain mm. with the sword. And that's and aren't we being uh, 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 you know uh, tormented tormented by the by the Lord's sword, which is Esau, all right? It says, uh, they wander about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, man. Right. You know, yeah. So this goes with this truth, man. A uh, state of a uh, continuous uh, uh, hardship, right. you know, to make us hard, man. You know? Right. De it says uh, destitute, man. It says destitute, man. So, you know, a poor afflicted people that, 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 are, that, are, that are, are mocked, that are scoffed, okay? But ultimately, in the end, you know, it's going to be made known, man. That we as, and what does the scripture say? In all those places where it said, "Ye are not the sons of the living power." There it shall be said that you are the sons of the living God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's where that's here in America. It's going to be made known. That's right. That's right. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, I got one real quick. This is a book book of a. Uh, um, this is uh, well. Uh, we'll get the one in Luke 11 and um, and 49. It says, and this was Yahweh Shai speaking to the the, the, the the Pharisees, okay? But it, but it, but it pertains to the situation that we find ourselves now. It says, therefore, also said the wisdom of the Most High, I will send the prophets and apostles, and some of them they shall slay and persecute, okay? And and and, and not only are are, are uh, you know uh, you see everyone's back in their own lot, man. You know those that persecuted and slayed the prophets. Okay, whether they be uh, 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 the two thirds or whether they be uh, Edomites and, and these other nations, man. Okay, it's all going to be required of you. So it says, therefore also said the wisdom of the Most High, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they shall slay and persecute, that the blood of all the prophets which was shed from the foundation of the world may be required of this generation. And, 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 and basically, this generation means the people that are living at a certain a period of time. So all the prophets. You know, from the beginning of the world until now, uh, their blood is going to be accounted for, man. Somebody's going to pay that tab, man. Okay, everyone who who, who mocked, everyone who who who, who uh, you know, a uh, uh, slayed, uh, persecuted, or, or or did anything to the prophets, man. Hey, ultimately, everyone has to pay, man, in this life, man, in yeah. this generation. If I make a, if I may make a point, you know, and, and it was always Israel that was killing us, bro, the yeah. prophets. You know, what I'm saying it was our people, man, the ones that persecuted the most. You would think it would be the nations that we were proclaiming the downfall of, man. But for the most part, it was sometimes our people that would rat us out. You know what I'm saying? What does the scripture say? Uh, Jerusalem with Jerusalem, which kill it. Hey, God, God. <laughs> hey, if we jump to, because um, I was going to get into Matthew, the 23rd chapter. But if we jump to uh, Matthew 23, and uh, 37. Oh, Jerusalem. Oh, no. You know what? Let me, let me run 35. That upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth on this generation whether you be a two-third or whether you be these other nations that 
that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, a son of Barakias, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. It says, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children, even as a hen gathered her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. How often the Lord sent time and time again. And, and, and the Lord spoke by the mouth of his prophets since the world began. Time and time again, he didn't send the prophets, man, in every, every incarnation, every generation at their appointed time to warn the world. Okay? And, and, and you Israelites mainly, man, to repent and to believe on your power and to come back to the law, judgment, statutes, and commandments that you may live. And time and time again, what did they do? They, they turned to the shoulder. They mocked, they scoffed. You know, they're scoffers even to this day. Okay? It says, Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, you shall not see me henceforth, till ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Right, and it's going to be known in that day who the prophets were. Because you're going to be like, Blessed are those that came in the name of the Lord. It's going to be too late for you, man. You know? Thy power, the day of thy power that people should be willing man right some people gonna be willing as well you know it's gonna take a lot for some some of you people man you know what i'm saying you're gonna have to see a lot but ultimately you know it, 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 it's, it's uh set up in the in the spirit like that man you know what i'm saying for for everything to be fulfilled i got one just, huh. to, just to jump back on me so i'm on a little bit this is psalms 10 and 2 the wicked in his pride does persecute the poor mm -hmm. let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined yeah for the wicked boasted of his heart's desires and blesses the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the Most High. The Most High is not in all his thoughts. Mm -hmm. you know, so the point, you know, there's a point here that says that they persecute the poor, man. And, you know, all we're seeing right now is an all-out uh, uh, all agenda on persecuting the, 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 well, the beginning of it, you know, of, of the Israelites, man. You know, so don't, don't, don't expect this to... Uh, 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 settle down, man. It's only going to increase. You know, more examples are going to be made, man, mm -hmm. so that they could move in with full force. All right, because this is, is this is this is what he's been uh, uh, devising, man. You know, to what was the scripture say that the wicked sleepeth not, lest he cause some to fall. Right. All right. So this is that 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 thought, man, that evil thought that he's been thinking on how to get us out, man. And and the easiest way to do, you know, through through just through history, man. You know, demonize someone, make them look evil in the in the eyes of the of the masses. And the masses will do the, the dirty work for you, man. You know, that's what he's hoping to do, man. All right? They, uh, you, you, you got more? There's a little bit more, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. It says his ways are always grievous, you know, and that, that's what we're feeling, man, because this shit pisses you off. You're like, man, mm -hmm. this motherfucker represents us. Like, come on, bro, you know? That, that shit, that shit's a, a, a Bexy, man, in the spirit, because that's the that's the image that's being portrayed, at, in a, a, you know, trying to convey that, that we're like that, man. Yeah. You know? That's how you know this devil is up to no good because he don't even give, uh, he wouldn't give us a true opportunity uh -huh. to speak out for ourselves and to represent ourselves. He wouldn't bring us on one of these platforms and do like a legitimate interview <clears throat> with a real man of the Lord to, to, <laughs> to, 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 make, to make the point, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, yeah. what he do instead is he put his own fucking story and tell it for us. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's how you know it's all deception to it. And you know what? And if I may add to that too, brother, you know, and that's funny because uh, who does he talk to? Nate? Yeah. I guess you BK. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know, that's how we know y'all took the bag, man. You, you know, y'all wouldn't go out there and straight say, hey, man, y'all gonna go into captivity. Like, you know, hey, the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai. You know, y'all wouldn't say all that, man. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight, as, as for all his enemies he puffeth at them. Mm -hmm. He has said in his heart, I shall not be moved, yeah. for I shall never be in adversity, man. Mm -hmm. And this is what he wants to do right now through, through, through uh, you know, his craftiness, man. He's trying to uh, put that evil day away from him. You know, he's, he, what was the scripture say that he thinks his house should, shall continue forever. You know, so in his uh, warped reality, man, he actually believes that he could outdo the Most High, man. Yeah, he could actually, he believes that, that he could get that blessing back, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, that, that's, what, that's what he's saying, right? For I should never be in adversity. Yeah. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity, bro. And that's all this bastard's doing right now, man. Uh, spewing uh, uh, poison. 
you know, uh, what was that scripture say? Uh, the, the fury darts of the wicked, and, you yeah, know, to quench yeah. the fury darts of the wicked, man. And these, these are darts being thrown at us, you know? You know, and we just got to be able to maneuver them, man. Because, hey, a lot of, of so-called men that call themselves Israelites, they're going to be faced by this, man. You know, they're going to be bothered by it. They're going to be offended in it, bro. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? You know, but that's part of counting the cost, man. You know, when you count the cost, you, you examine everything. You do. Hey, this is part of, a, of you being in this fight, man. You know, you, you know, all kinds of, all, all different types of things could happen, man. You know, when, when you're in the midst of battle, you know. Hey, you know what? And, so like, no, you got, you got it. it. So like it. And, and you know what's funny? Um, you mentioned um, count the cost. Well, it tells you right there. It tells you right there. Uh, 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 who goes to war. Yeah, who goes to war yeah. with a king having less uh, troops. You know what I'm saying? Because ultimately, hey, we're fighting a battle, man. You know? We're, 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 uh, what, what does it say in the book of um, Ephesians? They were, they, they were, we're basically going up against spiritual wickedness in high places, you know, Fauci and, and, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, Kill Gates and all these dudes, man. These dudes are, 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 are witches, man. They're, they're warlocks. And, and, and just like the brothers are saying, that, that, you know, all this is, you know, meant to, uh, throw everyone off, confusion, you know, and, and spread a false narrative. But, uh, there's a little bit more right here. Yeah, con, con. Verse 8. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places does he murder the innocent. Mm -hmm. His eyes are privately set against the poor. Right. And and, and, and and you see the whole jab? That's that's a that's secret places, man. They're putting it in without letting you know. This is something's in there, right? You know? And if this and if this guy, all right, if this guy plowed into these people and he set up, hey, you know, that's another part of doing things uh, uh, secretly, man. You know? Yeah, because it says where he lies and, and waits secretly. Yeah. As a lion in his den. Yeah. He lies in to in wait to catch the poor. And that's part of, you know, trying to entrap us, man. You know, trying to which you know his his attempts are gonna be in vain because ain't shit you could do to the to the Lord's anointed, man. You know, the Lord's anointed are gonna uh uh uh, uh you know they're gonna go through the, the fire, man, but they're gonna go they're gonna be able to withstand it just like the three uh uh Bindigo, Mishak and uh Shadrach. 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 You know, they were able to endure that fire, man, because the Lord was with them. You know, so that's how that's the covering that we're gonna have in the coming days, man, that the Lord Yahweh Shai himself, you know, you know, just like how these men are trying to discredit our Lord, man. Hey, he's gonna be our, our, our protection in that day, man. You know, Yahweh Bashim El Shai, man. Alright? And it says, uh, when he draws him in, in, into his neck. You know, that's the point right there, man. Come on, I got one. And the brothers can hold on back, second Ezra 16 and basically uh, uh, 68. This is uh, Isaiah 59, and um, let's see. Isaiah 59 15. No. 19. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's uh, Isaiah 59 19. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun, when the enemy shall come in like a flood. The spirit of Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, shall lift up a standard against them. That's right. So ultimately, well, when 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 they do make their move, because it, it, the Bible does uh, prophesy of, of these things, it speaks about these things. Okay, the Lord is going to lift up a standard, man. Okay, exactly what we're not we we don't know but to the T, but we know the Lord is going to intervene, whether it be spiritual power, whether the chariots start to show, you know, whether they you know do a. a, a you know, knock out their electricity grid. Who, hey, you know, ultimately it's all in the power in the hands of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. But you know, we know through the accounts of the scriptures that the Lord did miracles, man. So a miracle is going to happen. He's going to lift up a standard, man. Whether it's liberating brothers from prisons, whether it's healing miracles, whether it's uh, brothers getting spiritual power, causing what? What does it say? And, I, and a thousand shall shall flee at thy right and at thy left. You know what I'm saying? Just like the, the comics, man. Just like you know. Marvel movies and all that, man. Uh, Man of Steel. That's a good movie to watch. Bro, can I get the word you got uh, it? standard mm -hmm. uh, in the Hebrew? Uh, it says... Alright, it says noose. And then it says uh, to flee, yeah. escape, to take flight. Ooh. Disappear. Mm -hmm. Hey, you may get spiritual power and you fly away from that situation, yeah. bro. You know what I mean? You gotta Man. think like that, bro. You gotta, you gotta, 
you know, whenever you have any type of scenario, hey, you 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 gotta have a, a faith that hey, the Lord could do some 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 miraculous thing for you, man. Hey, David was uh, uh, scooped up in the chariot, man. Right. You know, when he was in the midst of his enemies. Well, we read in Hebrews 11, man. Hebrews 11 tells you what the Heavenly Father did, man. You know, the Lord says, "Wax valiantly and fight." You know what I'm saying? Fight the aliens. You know, the scriptures tell you all these things, man. The, matter of fact, the Israelite history, all right, is nothing but miracles, man. You know, say with no man. a Moses, Noah, Jonah, King David, and all the things that they did. And his, and his mighty men, you know, right. the, the acts of them. Mac, uh, what, uh, Judas Maccabeus and his brothers, man. Right. Who was it, Benaniah that slayed eight hundred men with the with the edge of the sword? Yeah, all that's you know coming, man. Yeah. Got uh, it. it says uh, to put to flight, uh, to cause to disappear, hide. Um, down in the strong definition, it says to vanish away, wow. to to chase. <laughs> hey, you may you make it. You may you may become a. a What's, what's that bitch that, that gets invisible? Hey, you may turn invisible, bro. <laughs> right? Yeah, you know like what I'm a, saying? Be like a mist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, turn into a mist. Yeah, yeah. Stuff like that could happen, bro. Bro. The flash. Yeah. Hey, you, know, you, get, you get some spiritual power on the spot. That's that's beautiful. That's, that's pretty much it, man. It says to escape, uh, to flee away, put to flight. Mm -hmm. Now, that goes into that power, man, that we're going to have. Right. When you when you go put down a 1,000, you right. know, put down the 10,000, you know what I'm saying? You know, hey, what what it say? He'll, he'll make us a, a thrashing Shark, instrument. Shark treasure. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, yeah. He gonna make our hands to war. Like we, you know, that that's that's all going into that standard the brothers bringing out. But you got it. So th this is some weak form of persecution, bro. Hey, yeah. just come with it, Esau. Come with it, bro. <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> you know what I mean? That, that you know, this is weak, bro. You know right. what I mean? It, 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 you know, we're waiting for that that move, man, where you break in doors. You know what I'm saying? Start storming lo uh, locations, man. That's what we're waiting for, man. You know, and, and the Lord Yahweh Hashem, like the brother just read, hey, he's gonna raise up that standard, man. You know, and our power is uh, our power uh, uh, Hashem is gonna be shown to the whole world, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because we can't do nothing but with the Lord, man. You know, we're we're just men, man. The scriptures say, "Thou Jacob, thy little worm." Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, hey, we 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 got big hopes in the Lord Yahweh Hashem, man. Right. Right. And the scriptures say the Lord is. Uh, 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 the Lord is not slack concerning His promise, man. So when the, when it starts to roll, the Lord's going to intervene. You see what I'm saying? The Lord's going to intervene for His elect, man. You know what I'm saying? Even hey, hey the scriptures even said that um, you know, uh, 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 those, those that die shall shall be uh, raised up first. That's right. So the, hey, how beautiful is that? The Lord's like, man, y'all ain't going to be a. Hey, what does it say? He that waited for me shall not be ashamed. World without end, man. This was not, you know, we're not going to be a. Hey, we ain't going to go out like that, man. The Lord's. You got it. No, my bad. The scriptures say, uh, "I shall wipe all tears from the yeah. eyes." You know, so yeah, yeah. Gonna be sad no more, man, man, when when this thing rolls, man, it, it, it rolls into the favor of what? Until Israel getting put back into uh into power, man. As a matter of fact, real quick, let's get that in the um, second verse six, the end of um. Oh, you saw? What is it? Uh, six Yeah, uh, second Ezra six. Because that's basically what's gonna happen, man. When the Lord starts rolling, man, hey, that's the end of this guy's kingdom. Okay, so he can come with this, you know, weak ass. Uh, 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 you see, that dude was that dude was ugly too. The the dude of the uh, <laughs> the, the reporter, shit, you know? no, him too, but the reporter, oh, the reporter, oh, the no, reporter that, that dude, black yeah, that dude was <laughs> like, damn, nah, what's wrong with that guy? Right, he's trying to just get his, his like, views up. Can you believe it? They're saying they're the way the, he was talking. He didn't sound so sarcastic. He didn't sound professional. Like, like, listen, go get somebody who's been doing that shit for. A, I'm just kidding. No longer. Than you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like, like. You know, they got, they got an intern to do yeah, that shit. It. Like, you got it. I got it. You got it. This is Second Ezra uh, six and uh, uh, seven. Then answer I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times, or when shall the when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow it? And he said unto me, From Abraham and from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born, mm -hmm. of him. Jacob's hand hold first, hold first the heel of Esau. Run that part back, brother. What, what, did, what did Jacob do? When Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand hold first the heel of Esau. You see that? Jacob's hand heard first the heel of Esau. Even from the womb. Our forefather Jacob was like, nah. Uh, he, nah, <laughs> you ain't coming out first. But ultimately, he did come out first. But that's okay. That's okay, because even from the womb, man, from the womb we've been at odds, man, and from the and from the womb it was written, and that's how strong we are, man. When you when you heard a story about that, where a baby was grabbing the other one, is man, get your ass back. I'm going out first. <laughs> hey, I am first, you know. 
where Rebecca had to inquire of the Lord, hey, right. Lord what, what's going on with me? Right. Right. If you I'm supposed to be pregnant, why is it like this? Why, why, why are they fighting like that? Because two man of people are in that womb. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it made me think too, man, the many of that are first shall be last. Right, right, right. exactly, saying? exactly. Right. Man. In that moment, like, yeah, you can have it first, <laughs> but you in, in the latter end, you're going to be last, man, when it's all said and done. Right, Either right. Laugh now, she'll cry late. Mm -hmm. Be that more now, she'll, she'll, she'll have laughter later, man. Right. right. Perfect. Right, you that what, what you that are rich now, man. What went to you that are rich now? For you ever seen your consolation, y'all? Y'all got it in this life, man. Lazarus. What? What? Hey, why in the? Why would you all just? I, I always think about that. Like, why would you, the Lord just gonna let you guys just mosey up in the kingdom like y'all didn't ever did anything? That's crazy. Six, five, six hundred years of oppression, and this just this uh, recent time. Right. What about in the in the other captivities and you other nations, man? Y'all just gonna walk up in the kingdom like y'all ain't never did anything, man? See, that's why you Christians are off, man. Vocal Malone and all y'all, man. You guys are just done. But Christianity ain't nothing, man. Hey, y'all ain't even, man, y'all ain't even reading the scriptures like that. Y'all reading the scriptures? For real? Man. Go ahead, brother. Verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Right. right? Hey, Esau is the end of the world, man. And, and, and if you look at it, what type of world do we have now with Esau and rulership, man? So, hey. Let them come with the persecution, man. Let it, you know, because ultimately Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that they follow with, man. Real life is going to begin as soon as Yahweh Bashim Yahshai intervenes, man. That's right. As soon as Yahweh Bashim Yahshai begins, the, 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 um, uh, let's get that in Job where it says, uh, he shall not, uh, fulfill his enterprise. And also, uh, he shall reign. Uh, what does it say? Um, yeah, he shall not fulfill his enterprise. And, um, what is that one that says? Uh, yeah, we'll keep that one on deck. This is, uh, you mean the one where he's about to fill his belly? Yeah, that one, yeah. Okay. This is Job 20. Uh, right, because, uh, you know. Yeah, right here. Verse 22. I got you. Okay. Job 20 and 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, right. he shall be in straight. Right, in the fullness of his sufficiency, when he's, when he is, is, is basically, okay, when, 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 when he, Okay, uh, uh, drop the dollar. Okay, when 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 the uh, the, the food, there's famine and and, and 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 you know money is is good to wipe your ass. Mm -hmm. Okay, when 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 all hell has breaking loose, man. I'm talking about no electricity, no running water. I'm talking about you know this place is through. Okay, and he's over here with you know probably some freaking generators trying to run his damn uh, concentration camps and whatnot. Okay. When he thinks he's at a sufficiency, when he got the people's heads rolling or whatever the case, man, the Lord's going to intervene, man. Okay? He's not going to fulfill his dystopian society, man. Okay? Where, where, where you can, like uh, that movie. What's that movie, yeah, with Tom Cruise, Minority Report? Where, where they can take, you walk into the store and it takes a photo of your face. And they know, hey, uh, you know, would, you, would, you, would you like to, you know, your favorite cereal? Nah, man. Ain't going to be flying cars, man. It ain't going to be none of that shit, man. Okay? It's not going to fulfill a whole nother world and, you know, we're going to live another hundred years of this bullshit. Nah, man. It's coming It's coming soon. There was a little bit more actually on yeah. top, bro. Run, run it back, brother. You want to run it from the... Verse 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, mm -hmm. he shall be in straits. Yeah. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Right. Hey, he's even going to get persecuted by his own allies, man. Hey, there was a there was something that was coming out in the news that said that the European uh, Union or NATO, they said that they they, they no longer feel that the U.S. can uh, defend them. Okay, so you know, hey, all these other nations they're they're gonna come upon you too, man. Okay, not only the EU, all right, but you know, but also uh, the big nations like like uh, North Korea, uh, what else? Iran. Iran. Yeah, even his own, even their own allies. You know, yeah. even your own, uh, uh, you know, NATO allies are gonna shoot missiles in this place, man. Right, and Russia's gonna fucking turn the lights out in this place, man. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. It says, uh, verse twenty-three: When he is about to fill his belly, right, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. Right, right before he thought he chipped everybody, he didn't killed all the saints. Right, right before he did all that, man, the Lord's gonna rain fury upon him, man. Right nope. before he opens that, that champagne <coughs> bottle, you know, right before yeah. he, he's pouring yeah, that celebrate. Yeah, you know, that's when the Lord. Mm, that's know? the best time to take him out too, man. What better time? 
for, for a prideful devil like Esau that did all this wickedness, perpetrated all this wickedness to try to forge his own pseudo blessing. What better time than when, when he really feeling like he got it done? That's the best time, man, to take him the fuck out, man, and, 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 and humble his ass. You know what I'm saying? Bring him all the way down off his high horse, man. Hey, like Belchazazar, you know, the, the, the Babylonian king, man. You know, he, they were Ooh. feasting when he got uh, taken down. You know what I'm saying? If you could give me a uh, Baba Kasha, is there any more on that? Uh, I just I just finished the bird. Okay. And she'll rain it upon him while he is eating. He sees so it backs up the point we just made. You know? I got a quick precept if I made come, come, come. This is Job 5 and 12. Right. He disappointed the devices mm -hmm. of the crafty, yep, right? yep, yep. so that their hands cannot perform the enterprise. Right, man. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to fumble it, man? He's going to fumble it. He's going to fumble that pass in the one yard line, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The Super Bowl. Man, that's what, that hurt. That's the like the like the Seattle. Yeah. Seattle when they had uh Beast Mall. Yeah, Marshall yeah. Lynch, yeah, yeah. People, <laughs> hey, people still bitter about that shit, bro. Yeah. Uh, give me, give me yeah, it's a lot. My bad, bro. You got it. You got it. I was gotta. gonna make a point because yeah. I remember this this security at my high school, bro. He did that shit, bro. And, and I think he was like 40 already, and they still call his ass fumble, bro. You know, because oh he fumbled the ball at the one yard line, bro. So people don't forget. They don't forget, yeah, they don't forget that shit, bro. Hey, hey, well, the scriptures. I'm gonna say this, man. The scriptures say, um, we shall take up a taunting proverb on these devils, man. You know, so we're. Is this, hey, is this? Yeah, is this the man? Like, like we pulled back the cover already, man. We seen, uh, you know, the Rothschild guy, like this guy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, bam. <laughs> Hey, man, if you could give me Romans 9 and 17, go ahead and run that, brother. Uh, this is Exodus 9, you want verse 16. Correct? Yeah. This is Exodus 9 and 16. It says, and in very deed for this cause have I raised thee up. Right. For to shew in thee my power and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth. Right, right. So the Lord raised him up, set him up, the basis of men, okay, that he may show his power like... These decrepit devils, man. It has to be. Uh, it has to be of uh, the Lord, you know, uh, 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 doing this on on His left hand side for His purpose, because we're stronger than them, man. Right. But also for what? Go ahead. It says, reading on verse fifteen. It says, for now I will stretch out my hand, that I may smite thee and thy people with pestilence. You see that? Go ahead. Run that. Run that part back, brother. Raise yeah. up His hand. Uh, verse 15, mm -hmm. Exodus 9 and 15. For now I will stretch out my hand right. that I may smite thee and thy people with pestilence. You see that? The Lord's going to smite you devils with pestilence, man. Okay? You're going to smite America, the world. You see what I'm saying? The Lord's coming with plagues, man. And, and it's not only just uh, 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 infirmities and whatnot, diseases, even diseases not that, went, that didn't go down in, in Egypt. You know, uh, some stuff you ain't never seen before, man. Right. Okay, but also what? That ultimate plague is what? Them nuclear missiles, man. Them chariots, man. Famine. Uh, 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 what else? Persecution. Uh, uh, sword. Yeah, sword. Yeah, sword. Peril. Dogs to tear. All that's the spirits created for vengeance. They're gonna be wild beasts. Wild beasts, man. Hey, of the Lord. When the Lord lets loose, man. When His judgment comes, man. Hey, man. Y'all are gonna be uh, freaking out. Hey, the scriptures say what? The King of Terrors, man. So. You, Hey, Yahweh Bashim is coming with a very great judgment, man. Okay, and it's all written, and we know of it. So wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times, man. So that's what we need to uh, rely on, man. Remember, always stay in the Word. If we could get uh, the Romans 9 and 17. This is Romans 9 and 17. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have right. I raised thee up, uh -huh. that I might show my power in thee, mm. and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. And that's why he lifted up Pharaoh so high, man. And, and that's why he has lifted uh, uh, this society, this kingdom, you know, known as America, Babylon the Great, to, to where it's at right now. Globally, you know, the, the military power that it is. Because mm -hmm. the Lord said in one hour, there should nothing be left, man. Because yeah. the Lord, you know, this great power that the world thinks is such a great power, the Lord is going to do easy work with it, you know. Yeah. And in that act, he's going to magnify his name, man, because of the great deliverance and that great destruction that he's bringing, man, you know. He's going to outshine the deliverance of, 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 of the ancient Egypt, man. Right. What did he do with Pharaoh, man? He drowned them in the in the Red Sea, man. Or in the sea, well. All of them, man. He drowned them in there, man. That was, you know. And, 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 and what happened to the Israelites? They, 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 they were able to go through the water, man. And we're able, hey, we're going to, 
we're gonna at this time too, man. You know, we're gonna be able to, uh, 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 you know, uh, go through the wilderness, man. Yeah, you know, that's that standard, huh? You yeah. Because he made a way to escape. Right, right, brother. Hey, real quick. Yeah. Because, you know, with this, with, with this devil, you know, playing his games in the media and, and trying to paint a picture of us, we know that. You know, this thing gonna have to come to a head. You know what I'm saying? The, the scriptures say that with violence shall we inherit the kingdom of heaven. It gonna have to come to that point, man. Yeah. Because this devil, uh, I think in Revelation 12, it says that uh, the devil was uh, rock with the woman or, or the dragon, Salakia, man, and went to make war with, with the remnant of his seed. And, and this is what we see him play out in the earth. So ultimately it's gonna come to a head because we're not gonna stop pushing this word. We're not gonna stop uh, proclaiming Yahweh Bashimi Shai, man, this planet earth. And so this devil going to ultimately have to do something. This is Isaiah 62 and, uh, and 6. And that's why it's not a strange thing to us to see as soon as men, men of Aqua was talking before uh, we, we flipped the camera on, that as soon as we saw the news story hit the headlines, we already knew they was going to try to tie it into the Israelites <coughs> in some way, shape, or form. We can see this shit coming from a mile away because we understand what, what's coming in prophecy. You know, um, Isaiah 62 and 6 says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Yes. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, and give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Mm -hmm. That has not happened yet. Jerusalem is not a, play, a praise in the earth. We're still on the bottom. And so we're going to continue to push this word, and we're going to push it with fire, man. You know what I'm saying? Continuing to chant down this wicked ass kingdom. You know, and, and this devil is going to keep, you know, putting forth his uh, propaganda to try to demonize us, man, until, again, it's going to come to a head. Some going to have to give, and this devil ultimately going to have to try to put his hands on us to stop us. And then that's when he's going to fulfill the prophecy where the Lord's going to lift up that standard, man. Yeah, the scriptures lift each other up, bro. It, you know, one thing there's no way around it. Yeah, one thing has to happen before the next, do like the domino effect, you know. One yeah. domino has to fall before the next one falls, man. Right. Until all is laid out, hey, man. Until all is fulfilled. You know? Um... Yeah, probably not. If you could give me, brother, uh, Second Ezra 16, a couple more precepts. You want me to finish this right here? Yeah. Bible so what you want the 16 was? I have already prayed. Second Ezra 16 and um, 68. You know, just to give a warning, man. Just to give a warning, you know what I mean? To go over these things. We got to go over these things. We got to constantly, constantly, you know, uh, 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 basically, uh, you know, be at one with what's going to come. Okay? We, you know, that, that's why these things were written. For what? For 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 uh, all things are written for what? For your learning. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that the comfort to the scriptures, you might have what? You might have peace. Okay? Yeah, he that he that gives himself to the Lord, you know, is occupying the prophecies, man. You know, so, you know, this is this is our job, you know. You gotta do your job at, at, at the best level that possible can. Uh, finish Romans, bro? Yeah, finish Romans and then we'll get second Ezra sixteen and sixty eight. Right. Romans nine and eighteen. Therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy and whom he will be who he will harden, thou will say then unto me, why does he, he why does he yet find fault? For who has resisted his will? Nay, but O man, who art thou that replies against the most high? Mm -hmm. Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me made me thus? Uh -huh. Hath not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto this honor? Yeah. Yeah, so basically, so basically, who are you to say, oh, we're not the Edomites, you know, you, you are, you are the lump of clay, the Lord can make one to honor, one to dishonor, okay, the Lord made Esau, he made uh, uh, the, uh, a Jacob, okay, he can, he can do what he sees fit, man, and what, what, what's going to happen is ultimately, the Israelites are going to, they're going to prevail, man, okay, that's what's going to happen, that's what's written in the prophecy, okay, but let's, let's go to a second Ezra 16, Couple uh, more precepts and then one is out. All right, this is Second Ezra uh, 16, and uh, you want me to start at what verse? 68. Uh, this is verse 68. It says, "For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you, and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols." Right, right, and that's what they're gonna want to do. They're gonna want to take some. You know, ultimately they're gonna, you know, they're gonna want to take some believers. Okay, they won't put you in these camps, man, and, and try to offer you that MOTB. 
Okay. And these things aren't unbelievable because they're already <coughs> doing it out there in Australia. In, in certain uh, areas of Australia, they are taking those who are C-19 positive and they're putting them in concentration camps, literally, as we speak. So Jake be thinking this shit is like impossible and it right. ain't gonna happen, but it is happening, man, right yeah. now. Um, Reading on, it says, verse 69, it says, and they that consent unto them uh -huh. shall be had in derision right. and in reproach. Right, so hey, even if you consent, right, even if you agree or go along with it, you're ultimately gonna get trampled down, okay? Uh, yeah. Because uh, because Esau don't want to go, he don't want to go out alone. That's why he, he he wants you to bow ultimately. Why? Because he knows you're gonna be destroyed. Okay, and that's what he wants, man. He, he's he's not he's not for your for your well being. He knows he knows that he has a short time. He trying to take as many say he remember the scriptures say he is the accuser of thy brethren, man. Okay, so if you consent unto him, you, hey, they're gonna laugh. They're like, hey, well, hasn't it came out? Because by that time, the word has already went out through the whole earth. They're going to be like, hey, is it, aren't you the Israelites? Look what y'all did. Y'all took, the, y'all took the, 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 you know, y'all took the Marcus. You know, I thought y'all weren't supposed to, you know. It, the, all the truth is going to be unraveled by that time. Go ahead, brother. It says, um, Salaki, it says, uh, and they that can send unto them, verse 69, shall be had in derision mm -hmm. and in reproach and trodden underfoot. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Right, there's going to be an uprising, man, against the believers. You know? Go ahead. Uh, it says, For they shall waste and take away their goods mm -hmm. and cast them out of their houses. Right, so they, you know, they're going to knock, they're going to kick your so door like down. So like it. Let me go back to 71. Yeah. I'm in 71. Um, it says, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, uh -huh. but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Right, madmen sparing none. You know, that, hey, the, hey, the scriptures say that the nation would, they, they will not uh, uh, regard old or young. Right. So anybody can get it in them days, man. Anybody who make a wrong move, Esau's going to let you have it. You know, they're going to go in your crib, they're going to take, and they see, you know, they see something of uh, uh, value, they're going to take that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? They're going to they gonna take what, you know, you know canned food, your woman, so articles of articles of value, whatever the case, man. That's coming back, bro. No, you're about to experience, like, what's that movie? You're about to experience hell. I don't, yeah. I don't know what movie that is. I can't remember the name of the movie, but there's a movie, you know. That's basically what, what you're about to experience for uh, some of you people in the world, man. Hell. Living hell, man, you know. The conditions that are coming to the planet Earth have never been in the planet Earth, man. You know, even the time of Jacob's trouble. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, on, bro. It says, uh, verse 72, For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Hey, hey we're, we're, we're at the movies, man. When somebody, <laughs> when somebody goes, okay, into into the good guy's house, hey, what do they always do, right? You, know, you got the shotgun, he's smashing all the, uh, the pictures on the wall. Overturning the table and you know looking for shit, you know, that's why you saw make movies like that because that's what they do They don't ransack your house. You know what I'm saying? Talk. Take food you know I'm saying take your canned goods and shit take your water right, You know what I'm saying? All that all that prepping you was doing. Yeah, you yeah coming for all that. <laughs> uh, Verse 73 it says then shall they be known who are my chosen and they should be tried as the gold in the fire. Right, see, and, and in that time, see, because, uh, you know, we know that they got a list. You know what I'm saying? They got a list, you know, with, with three different colors on it. You know what I'm saying? And they know, okay, who's really a threat. Okay, so it's going to be known in that day. If they took you, man, you know, chances are, you know, you could be a, a, a man of the Lord, man. Because they, 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 they you know, they, they know who they're coming after, man. You know what I'm saying? But the, the, the Lord, hey, and that, there comes a trying with that. You know, the scriptures tell you in Revelation, uh, we're not going to get it, but, you know, basically uh, uh, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, be thou faithful uh, 10 days, and, and I shall give you a crown of life. Okay, so, hey, it is what it is, man. But but he, the scriptures say also, man, whether we live or whether we die, we live or we die to you, how about Shemiah Shai? There is no right. death. Okay, we just hope and pray that, you know, that if that is our lot, hey, well, you know, the Heavenly Father, the scriptures say your works do follow you, man. Go ahead, brother. Huh. Verse uh, verse 74 says, Here, O ye, my beloved, saith right. the Lord, uh -huh. behold, the days of trouble are at hand. 
but I will deliver you from the same. You see that? The days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Okay, go ahead. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. Right, so basically the Lord is telling you, He's like, listen, whether you're afraid or doubting or whatever, I'm your guide. So He's basically letting you know right there, man, is I'm in front of you. But the Lord even said that, that I, go in for, I go to fight, the battles is mine. You know what I'm saying? Ultimately, the Heavenly Father, this is 